Hi, this is Eric Phipps from Works Connection, and today I want to go over the installation process of our new ProLaunch start device. One, we'll be installing the fork ring uh, onto the fork. We don't want to ever do, you don't want to just stretch this around and, and wrap it around the fork. You take a risk of damaging both your fork and the fork ring itself. Now that you've got the front wheel and the fork off of the motorcycle, you want to remove the bolt from the fork ring. And we'll go ahead and slip it down over the top. You will have to slightly spread the fork ring over the wide part of the, where the lower triple clamp is. Then the fork ring will basically just fall into its uh, position. Once you have the fork ring in its place, you can just leave this loose. We'll put the bolt in in a second, but we can go ahead and get the fork back on the bike. So in step two, you've chosen your uh, correct template for your size and weight. I've gone ahead and went with the 100 millimeters, which is our standard. And I've cut out, uh, using scissors or X-Acto knife, I've cut out the template. And this is a critical step. You want to be accurate with your cut, and you also want to be accurate with lining it up with the fork guard. That will really help your alignment from the side to side and also your up and down. I've gone ahead and used uh, quite a bit of tape also. You want that really solid to the fork guard because in the next step we'll be taping the drill guide up, but you want to start with a good foundation and make it solid. In this step I've taken the drill guide that's supplied in the kit and I've lined it up uh, perfectly with the paper template that's taped to the fork guard. You want to make sure that the holes are all lined up nicely and then you want to tape uh, all the way around the perimeter of the drill guide to ensure that it stays put, because the next step we'll be drilling the two 3 16 holes. So in this step, we're going to go ahead and uh, drill out the two 3 16 mounting holes that will be the supports for the uh, trigger body assembly. I went ahead and installed a 3 16 drill bit. Again, you can also do this in a drill press. I'm going to use a cordless. And we'll just go ahead and uh, drill through the upper hole first. and then do the lower. In this step, you've drilled your two 3 16 mounting holes. I'm going to take the Phillips screws, remove them from the uh, trigger assembly. I'm just going to go ahead and press these down through the drill guide and the plastic. And the only reason I'm doing this, and press it in a little bit, is it helps support uh, the drill guide. The next step will be to bore the, the large hole. So this, along with the tape, just ensures that the drill guide stays in the perfect location. So you got your screws uh, through the holes of the drill guide. Everything's ready. We're going to go ahead and I've installed the countersink tool that we provide in the kit. Go ahead and got that tightened up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up on the X and what the drill guide is going to do is even if the drill, the counter bore is off a little bit as it's going through, it will be forced into the correct position. But you just still want to get it started in the uh, center of the hole as much as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill through here. So we've drilled a large diameter hole. Now I'm going to go ahead and check up the 5 16 drill bit. We're going to go ahead and drill out the, uh, the lower hole, which is essentially a drain hole, and allows uh, for water to get in there to wash it out, flush out the uh, backside of the uh, trigger mechanism. So I'm going to go ahead and just drill the 5 16 hole. So I've got all four of the holes drilled in the back side of the fort guard, or in the fort guard. I've also removed the drill guide and the paper template. And on, depending on the model, this is a, a current model Honda. It's a softer uh, material on the fort guard. You can see we have a little bit of material there. And then a little on the uh, 5 16 So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take a razor blade and clean up the, that trim off the extra flashing. We have all the holes drilled. I've re 
remove the flashing from the hole so you have a nice smooth uh, surface on the inside of the fork guard. It's time to countersink the two, uh, the upper and the lower mounting holes of the uh, trigger mechanism. You want to do this step by hand. You don't want to do this with a drill, especially on the, the Honda models. Uh, it's a soft plastic. If you go too far, you can easily uh, go through the fork guard, uh, making it useless. So we're ready to mount the uh, trigger assembly to the fork guard. You can see I've got the, the holes all countersunk. Made sure that the uh, wa you know the backing washers fit perfectly flush on the plastic. And we're going to go ahead. You want to use definitely want to use a blue Loctite on the screws. When you go to put the body in. You'll notice that the uh, there's a lip on the back side of the trigger mechanism, and that will go into the uh, large hole, and that's your, the entire support of the mechanism, is uh, that hole. The screws basically just hold it in place. And at this point we're going to line up the fork ring. What I've done is I've put it in the back of a truck. You can use a trailer, truck, whatever is going to be able to um, pull the front end down to compress the front end with straps. And you can see I've tightened this bolt up just enough where I can move the band around for lineup. I want to have the trigger, I want to pull it down enough where the, the body is just above the fork ring so it can fully uh, lift the trigger. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to lightly release the strap and, it'll, and have it actually hook in the band. So now we know we're lined up. Go ahead and take and go ahead and torque it and we recommend up to uh, like six foot pounds. For this last step I'm going to show you how to set the Pro Launch Start device by yourself. What I do is I stand on the left side of the bike and I get just a little bit of a roll going. I'm going to lean over and have my finger ready to lift but I want to wait until the fork ring is compressed enough to go obviously past the center point of the ring before I uh, want to lift the lever. If you do a little bit early, it is designed that it will deflect off the bottom of the fork ring and still set. But ideally, you want to clear the fork ring. So I'm going to get a little bit of a roll going. I'm going to grab the front brake that will make the forks dive. At the same time, I'm just going to lift up and uh, set it. 